Hi, I'm Tony Swinehart with MCP's Full Court Press, brought to you by Spectrum Help, Lunnington Hospital's Multi-Specialty Clinic, as well as House of Flavors Incorporated. Today we are here with Kelly Smith. He is a third time recent world championship uh, winner for jet ski races. So Kelly, thank you so much for being with us and taking time out of your busy schedule today. So let's start with how you started with jet ski racing and like the technical term for it and that type of thing. So the reason that I started racing jet skis mm -hmm. was um, as I finished my career in racing motorcycles professionally, the team I was with at the time um, asked me if I wanted to try jet ski racing because they originally got their start in the jet ski racing world. Okay. Um, so I went out, met the team in Nashville, Tennessee did a little bit of testing on a jet ski and um, they just wanted to watch me and see if I could, you know, have any talent toward right. <laughs> jet ski racing. <laughs> and uh, after the first day of being there, they said, yep, yeah, we think we should uh, take you and go try some of the national tour races. And so I did that uh, about six years ago. Oh, wow. Okay. And so what, is there a technical term for it? Yeah, it's a uh, Water cross is what they really call the jet okay. ski racing now. Okay. And so just like motorcycle racing is called motocross, motocross. Um, okay. they call it water cross. Okay, wonderful. So when you very first started, um, where was your first race at? My very first race I did was in Louisiana, um, actually really close to the Texas border, but it was in what they call brackish water, which is a mixture of fresh and salt water. Ooh, um, okay. So that was a little different for me being yes. from Michigan and, you know, being a freshwater guy. Yeah. But um, that's where I literally got my feet wet in the, <laughs> in the racing department there. And um, we did pretty well right away on the national tour. I think I finished in the top three that year. Oh, wow. And then from there, we started to decide to go to these world finals events that they host every year at the end of the year. Okay. And most recently, you were in Lake Havasu Correct. in Arizona, and that is where you had your most recent. Um, so you have three total world championships? Correct. Um, okay. This is the third world championship that I've won. This one was extra special because the jet ski that I was racing, our team built from the ground up. Um, we designed the fiberglass hull, put a motor in it that was out of a Kawasaki, a big 1500 cc four stroke motor which okay. is the maximum that you can yeah. do okay so it's a, a gp class is what they call it which makes it pretty unlimited in okay. the amount of work you can do other than you can only go up to a certain amount of cc of engine and you have to work around size requirements of the size of the jet ski so right. okay other than that you are pretty unlimited on what you can modify to make it as fast as possible and um the team's really proud of that jet ski that they've built. They call it a Huracan R. Okay. And um, so it's kind of our own little thing. And we're, we're hopeful that um, with the success that we've had with this jet ski, that we can actually sell it to help fund mm -hmm. the team. Oh, yes. And you said Team Faith Correct. is the team that you've been with. Um, Explain a little bit about Team Faith and why they came up with that name and, and mm -hmm. how you got involved with them, too. Yeah, I mean, I think like most people would allude to, the name is because we do full-time ministry. So mm -hmm. Team Faith brings a chapel service to the races for the racers, pit crew, family, whoever's there and wants to attend. Usually we um, break right after our riders meeting okay. and invite everyone to come who would like to stick around. And um, we've done that. Um, Team Face also been involved in a lot of other motorsports industries, um, okay. whether it's motorcycle racing in several different capacities or X Games, lots of different things that we've been involved in. And we do those those same types of uh, ministry events at those sporting events. So um, sometimes we even do meals where we feed everyone, invite oh. them in, come uh, have a place to go um, for a dinner because we're all athletes and we want to have sure. a good dinner. So right. we provide something healthy. <laughs> right. And then we also think we're providing something healthy by having a, a good message for everybody um, who doesn't get to attend a normal church service because they're traveling Doing, throughout doing the, the racing, yep. yes. Correct. And I've always thought that's such a wonderful thing. In a, today's world, especially kindness and, and a belief, you know, a strong belief in having faith in no matter what you do um, 
is a really a, a positive thing. So congratulations on your world championship. Now, where were your other two championships and when did you get those? Um, well, you're going to make me think back. Uh, last, <laughs> last year, I also won a world championship and it was in that same class. Okay. And then uh, I believe it was the year before I won in a vet class on okay. a stand-up style jet ski. Okay. Big Kawasaki 1500 jet ski. Um, so that one was maybe not quite as impressive and important to me, but right. um, like I said, this one was extra special because it was our project, you know, right. that we had been working on for a couple of years to develop this jet ski. Yeah. And so thank you again, Kelly. And do you think you're going to continue racing for the future? I'm 40, so I'm really old in the <laughs> racing world. <laughs> so we'll have to see. Um, literally, the young kid who got second place at the world finals this year, um, or actually, third place he got was uh, 16 years old, just oh, turned wow. 16. So, okay. um, so yeah, I'm, I'm the old man <laughs> out there. And I guess as long as I'm still able to compete at a high level, um, I'll, I'll consider it. Right. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Again, thank you so much for your time today. And Congratulations again to you and your family, and I hope you continue having success um, with all of that you do in racing. So thank you so much. All and right, for more it. news, go to masoncountypress.com.